okay welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to learn how to link bootstrap in laravel actual this question was asked asked me on my blog by someone called the ameria brooks uh she asked me how to link bootstrap in laravel so actually this is a content i'm going to derive in front of you so we everybody know what's bootstrap and uh, what is function and where to get it so if you want to download the bootstrap you may visit this link i hope i'll put it below my video description download your bootstrap then after downloading it is a part of ranking it in laravel so i've already downloaded my bootstrap so it is present in this folder so i'm copying this file which contain bootstrap and i'm going to paste it in my laravel project folder so inside the public folder create a folder called the assets then inside the assets paste your bootstrap folder yeah that's it so actually what we have done so far we have downloaded the bootstrap and we have stored it in a public folder of our project so the next thing is to to link it on the page we want to use it so this is a page student.breads.php uh, actually this is page i want to link with bootstrap so here light link something like this then we need to specify the path of our bootstrap folder in our laravel project folder so put these brackets add some more then url bracket round bracket double quotes and then assets should be assets assets it should be single quote yes assets something like this slash css slash bootstrap boost bootstrap dot mean dot css hope that is our bootstrap so uh, uh, control s to save then you refresh on the browser to see if there is any changes so this is a page before we have linked the bootstrap in laravel so let me refresh right here and see what's happened boom uh, we have successfully linked the bootstrap in laravel so that's it this is the coverage of our tutorial video of today uh, actually to remind you of what steps we have gone so far uh, actually we had the, mm, about three steps right first step was to download the bootstrap after download it extract it, and store it in a public assets folder in your laravel project folder then the last step was to link bootstrap folder we have stored in public html to link on a page so actually that's at the end of my tutorial of today thanks for being with me thanks for watching do not forget to like you know put comment and subscribe for next video updates thank you and see you in the next time right